you have too much stuff in your home and need to declutter? Today, I am debunking the myth that you should only handle an item once and try to make a quick decision. I'll also take you behind the scenes of TV's hoarders and show you when and why this strategy did not work. Hi, I'm professional organizer, Katherine Lawrence. I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. I'm one of the organizers working behind the scenes on TV's hoarders. The touch it once strategy is when you pick up an item in a space that you are clearing, you make a decision quickly to keep or toss, and then you move to the next item. Today, I'll explain the pitfalls of this strategy and show you a better method. You can use this method at home by yourself when going through piles of stuff, or you can use this technique with a client if you work as a professional organizer. It can be overwhelming to declutter a home. Have you tried to clear out a garage, attic, or just a cluttered bedroom for yourself or someone else only to hit a wall emotionally way before the job is done? That is when you or your client are experiencing decision fatigue. It's too many decisions about too many random things for our minds to process. Every new object you handle sparks a lot of questions. Will I ever need this? Does it fit? Should I sell it? Donate it? Fix it? Give it to a friend? I start a session, it's typically with a new client, and they immediately want to jump in and make decisions about the first item that they see. Then the wheels in their brain start turning, and after a few minutes, I can understand why they are not making any progress in clearing the space. What I'll do in that moment is tell them, you know, take a deep breath, go get a cup of tea or coffee. Uh, that gives me some time to do some pre-sorting. Now, you can do this yourself at home. You don't need to hire an organizer to do it. It's just so important and will help your brain stay focused for longer when you make decisions about categories of things versus individual items. So what does this look like? Uh, instead of uh, picking up a pencil or a mug or an umbrella and asking yourself, do I want to keep this? You'll first gather all the pencils and then only pick a few that you love and need and then give the rest away. And you're going to work through your entire home like this going category by category. Other time that I get caught working with a client before things are categorized is when I'm working on TV's hoarders. I always set up a staging area to sort things and a cleanup crew goes in the home and then brings me items that look like they are still in okay condition or may have value, like paperwork, photos, keys, antiques, and so on. I'll start sorting and breaking things down, but then the crew decides they want the homeowner to come over and go through stuff at that moment. And it's about a 50-50 chance if I've had time to categorize things first. But when things are nicely sorted into categories, the decision process is 80% faster, even with a hoarder. Otherwise, if things are not sorted, it can take an hour for them to make decisions about things on one table. So how can you use this strategy to clear your own space? You'll set aside a few hours to work on a space and use the first hour to categorize and group like items. Then the next hour to make decisions, and then next to put away the items you want to keep. Now, I know you're thinking, but it would take me days to categorize everything in my house. And it probably would. But ultimately, you're going to have to do it anyway because that's how you set up an organized space, that everything is categorized and has a home. So just focus on a few categories at a time. So in a large space like a garage, only organize the lawn and garden supplies this weekend and focus on sporting equipment next weekend. Same thing for your kitchen. Organize your baking and cooking supplies today and then organize spices and food storage next week. And trust me, eventually your entire home will get organized. If you'd like to work with me virtually, grab my coaching starter package. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video, 
or click the link in my Instagram bio. As a bonus, you'll get checklists of all the categories of things in your home to streamline the process. So what areas in your home need decluttering and what is holding you back? Let me know in the comments below. And please like and subscribe for more videos on decluttering, downsizing, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.